Hi, I'm Shelley Bin, and this is Raiden. We met on day two of our Appalachian Trail through hike and ended up hiking the whole thing together. Now we're in New Zealand. We just got married and we're off to explore the country together, hiking and tramping using mostly gear I made for us. Subscribe to come along with us as we explore the great outdoors. We left Auckland in the van a few days after Christmas, heading south towards Taupo. Once we spent the night there, we stopped off to do a spot of sightseeing near the lake and Hooker Falls. When we left Taupo, we headed around the lake to Taumanui, and from there we started this first leg of the adventure. Got our barrels packed. Two extra barrels there because didn't need that many. And ready to leave our little home to go on a canoe trip. Good morning. It's the 30th of December and Raid and I have just left Tom Renui on a five-day canoe trip down the Whanganui River. Today is going to be a pretty exciting day. I think we've got a bunch of rapids and then it'll smooth out for the rest of the trip. There's a big group of people behind us, but we're the first ones off. And I think our first rapid is about 10 minutes. Officially entering Whanganui National Park. Oh no! <coughs> Oh yeah, I'm gonna get wet.
about halfway through our day four pedal and we're on a little side trip uh, to walk to the bridge to nowhere it's been pouring with rain all day and we're pretty cold and pretty wet so getting up and walking is actually really nice and that's about a 40 minute walk and then back the same way I'm thinking we've got another two hours canoeing after that before we get to our campsite for the night. The Bridge to Nowhere is a concrete road spanning the Mangapurua stream in the Whanganui National Park. It was completed in 1936 and was constructed to provide access to land for pioneering farmers. The intention was to build roads to it later, but the area proved to be so remote and unsuitable for farming that the venture failed and the farms reverted to native bush. Now it can only be accessed by foot or mountain bike. I have to say, it was a pretty weird experience to see a concrete bridge in the middle of the New Zealand bush. five days on the river, had a great time, uh, a little bit of fast moving water, quite a lot of slow moving water, um, but overall fantastic trip, even with the rain. The canoe hire company picked us up at the end of the trip along with like 50 other people and took us and all of our gear and all of our canoes back to Tom Renui. Uh, and from here tonight we're going to head north again, see if we can find somewhere to sleep, maybe find somewhere to do some laundry, and then we can keep adventuring again tomorrow.